but this war got to go on because there's places that the Lord want destroyed, man. And what does he want destroyed first and foremost? America, Babylon the Great. I went into that, uh, I went and get, got the definition of Armagagwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So part of it is hill um, or, or, or basically a mountain. And the other part says of crowds or of, uh, of people, but there's another breakdown where it's talking about the army. That's, that's, all, that's where they all gathering, man. It's mountain of troops, bro. Yeah. Mountain of troops, right. So yeah, man. Armageddon, man. It's gonna be they, that's where it's gonna be where the great battle takes place, man. That's right, brother. That's right, bro. You know? Yeah. Uh grab uh you and Jeremiah. Jeremiah 49 and 49 and it's basically said we'll call you to call the archers. Uh 49 and You know what, brother? Go to uh, Slocky. It's 50. Jerem Jeremiah 50. And um, 50 and uh, 14. You can start at. Ooh! Start at now, brother. Start at now. Start at now. Alright. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 9. 9 to 15, and then jump to 29. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon uh -huh. an assembly of a great nation. Woo! And all these nations, the assembly of, of nations, is going to come up against this plate, man. They're going to be around this place, around the belt, man, ready to shoot the nukes off, man. Because you got to remember, a lot of these nations that's going to come against America are, are they're, they're what? They're used. They're going to be. They're used to be allies, man. Go ahead. From the north country. They shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as the mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. None shall return in vain. So that's how we know these missiles are going to go back to what? I mean, these, these arrows are going to play. These nuclear missiles, man. See? All these, all these. Well, too, it says uh, they all should uh, basically they should all go to their their destination. Man. Oh, they should not break their ranks. <laughs> you know? Go ahead, bro. From thence she shall be taken. Her arrows. Oh, so sorry. Right, man, because of the how the uh, prophet uh, described these, uh, these different visions they seen, seen, right, or they were seeing, you know, the arrows was a good representation of what would be missiles today, man. Yeah. All right? Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 10, and Chaldea shall be a spoil, uh -huh. and that, and all, so it's like, all that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord, uh -huh. because ye were glad because ye rejoice, uh -huh. O ye destroyers of my inheritance. O oh, ye destroyers of my inheritance. Who's the Lord's heritage? The Israelites, man. We are the Lord's heritage. And they and they destroyed us, man. In each and every way we can think. See? Even, even we are just we are this great people. But look at the lowest state that we're in now. Look how we have been destroyed, man. Hey, this is the worst captivity our people have ever been in, man. Heifer up at grass. Uh, that heifer up. Heifer at grass and below and bellow as bulls. Mm -hmm. Your mother shall be sore confounded. Right, and who's America's mother? England, man. That's that's their mother, man. Go ahead. She she that bear you shall be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Behold, the the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. Oh, you see? Read that part again, bro. It says what? What? Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. We know America, Babylon, and Great is not going to be inhabited, man. This place is going to be uh, made desolate. For what? Desert-like creatures, man. 
for the for the owl, for the bittern, for for uh, desert like creatures, man. Uh huh. But it shall be a holy, it shall be holy desolate. Yeah, holy desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Yeah, read that again, everybody. What? Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished uh -huh. and hiss at all her plagues. Yeah. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Yeah, that's 29, right? That's 20, you're on 29, right? I'm on, oh, slug, I'm on, I'm on 14. Okay, okay, go ahead, Salakia. Yeah. Shoot at her. Uh-huh. Read, read that over, sword. Verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon. Yeah, so they're going to put themselves in array against Babylon and, and do what? Round about her, and uh -huh. all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. So all these nations are going to gather up, and they're going to tag Team America, man. You see? They're going to tag Team America. Go ahead, bro. Let me get a piece of it. Spare no arrows. Spare no arrows, man. So the Lord gonna have all these nations shoot every missile that they got. All the missiles that you see them uh, uh, showboating when they be having their little, what they call their little missile or nuclear parades. They gonna shoot all them, man. All, all the missiles that they got uh, stacked up. You know, they're not, they're not, they don't have all these different missiles just for a uh, 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 gun show. Yeah, show and tell. <laughs> no, they gonna shoot these things, man. Just like niggas on the block. Niggas don't buy guns just to, hey, you know, Go hang them up on the wall. Like, hey, look what I got. I got this. I got that. No, man. See, they use it for what? Either self-defense or they're going to go do, do something that they shouldn't be doing, man. So what? These nations got all these missiles, too, and all these different weapons to use them for their own. Defense. That's exactly what it is, man. And they even, they even uh, you know, because of course some niggas is wicked. But they even talk about you if you got a gun and you don't bust it. You ain't ready to bust them. Uh, yeah, yeah. How much more of these nations that have been being bullied by America, man? They're ready to bust their guns, man. <laughs> They're ready. Hey, what they say? They gonna beat they, they plot, they uh, they they the hooks and the spears, man. They ready, man. Hey, you can see just through the different media, they ready, man. These these nations is tired of being oppressed, man. You know what I'm saying? These nations is tired, tired of being bullied. Little Billy went and learned Taekwondo, man. And he, and he taught you to come to bring it on. Big bad bully. <laughs> yeah. Ready to flip you on your on your on your head, man. It's coming, man. They're gonna burn this, they're gonna burn the horn with fire, man. So read that part again. Yeah, I got a precept, yo. Come a little closer, bro. The wind, the wind probably knocking the sound out now. in array against Babylon yeah. round about. Yeah. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Yeah. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord Yahweh. Right, and guess what? When you go to Revelation 18, what it says, man, America, Babylon, the great, sins has reached up to heaven. Go ahead. Shout against her round about. Uh -huh. She has given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Yeah. Her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of Yahweh. Take vengeance upon her, as she hath done, do unto her. Right, as she hath done, do unto her. So everything that America has done, hey, they gotta, they gotta get double fold, man. Esau got the thing, man. Esau eat him, man. Right, and this, this is who owns this place, America, now, man. He's the new Pharaoh, man. He's the new man in charge. The bully of the earth. So, go to 29. 29, verse 29. Call together the archers against Babylon. Yeah. All ye that bend the bow, 
kept against it around, sorry, kept against it round about. Yep. Let none there, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her works. Recompense her according to her works, man. Talking about America, Babylon, the great, man. You see? And the Lord is, is the one to stir up the minds and the, these different kings, man. To, to do this thing to to do this thing to do the things that he wants to, that's going to eventually happen to America because America has a bill it has a tag that it, it has to pay yep. yeah because I was just about to go into that through the spirit I'm glad you said that America has a tab that it has yet to pay yeah you know yeah. because these Christians out here they say oh man forgive them it's all about love but the scriptures tell you that those that are walking this narrow path are going to have some form of judgment for the things that they do so that they don't get the greater condemnation with the world. So if we're gonna receive a smaller judgment and catch hell on this side, how much more are those that are doing pure wickedness? Because there's been no judgment for what the Edomites have done, the so-called white people have done to us, man, and the other heathen nations. So they just gotta go through all this, no judgment, continue messing up the children of Israel, you black, my children, and Native Americans, then they gonna go into heaven, having not felt any, any other punishment? Not, not, not only just messing with us, destroying the land, right. just destroying all the animals. <laughs> you know, there's more things that's calling out than the, than the men of the Lord, man. You know, that's true. We cry out to the Lord as we supposed to, but hey, so is the animals, so is the earth, you know. We're crying out, man. This devil got to pay. Right. Matter of fact, I got to get, get that because you said something. Uh, here we go. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. So the things that have been done, that which shall be, and that which is done. Is that what shall be done, man? No, that's not the one. Yeah, 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 that's not what I want. I, hold on, I'm gonna get Yeah, you know. Here we go. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 15. It says, That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and the most high acquire that which is past. Right. Hey, like I was just going into and like the scriptures say, the most high requires that which is past. There's another one that even talks about the righteous blood from one from this prophet to this prophet. It's gonna it's gonna be required at thine hand, man. You know? If I can read this, we're gonna read this because just going into that, right? Because if it's not required, right? If it's not required that that which was of, which was of the past, then why does it say this? Uh, Revelation 18, uh, verse verse five, it says, "For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquity." So the Lord remember everything that America, Babylon, the Great has done. The Lord remember her iniquity. Right? See, so the Lord requires that which was of the past. Says and, and reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. And the cup which had filled, which she had filled, filled to her double. So that's what brothers we say. We say you devils got the payment. Y'all got to pay double, man. Everything that y'all did unto us, y'all want to pay twofold, man. You see everything, and and not just only. We remember things of what you have done to us and our people. But what you think about these other nations, man? You think these, these uh, Japanese people don't remember what you did to uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki? These nations remember all the things that you've done, man. How you rape and rob and stole all the resources out of their land. You push forth your wicked ideologies amongst their nation and make their women buck up against them and their kids wicked and, you know, everything out of order. They remember all these things too, but how much more they have than the father, though? You see, because he don't forget nothing. Nothing. His memory don't go blank, blank not one time. Right, and uh, so I, I had made a, a statement. I'm going to get the scripture for us. Like Luke 11. And uh, so this is first and foremost talking to the wicked Israelites. Yeah. But also these 
other nations, primarily these Edomites, had a hand in slaying the prophets as well. Yeah. And, and soon to come, is the, this is the generation in which it's going to be, their blood's going to be avenged on. So let's get this scripture. Luke 11. And uh, I guess I'll start at 48. Truly you bear witness that ye uh, allow the deeds of the prophets. Like, for they indeed killed them, and ye built their sepulchre. Talking about the, uh, the, the prophets. Therefore also said the wisdom of the Most High, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. Right, right. But like the brother said, first and foremost, speaking of you wicked Israelites, man, because y'all are the ones that slain the prophets, man. You know, for the children of those that slain the prophets. Right, but also, this, this goes right into how this also talk about you other nations. Because uh, uh, Cain was in the spirit of Esau, man. Yeah. So this says, from the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple. Verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. So that includes you Edomites, which are in the spirit of Cain. You, eat, you Edomites, man. And in the spirit of the serpent. Yeah, because the Lord requires which was, a, which was the past, man. So all you... Hey man, y'all that got this mindset, hey, that's why the Lord says my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways are not your ways. Y'all, they leave it up in day. They just like, you know what, just, you know, we don't mind nothing that went on. Just, just let us let us live a happy life in America. Because when we hear these Jakes talking in the background, man, they, that's what they say, man. You know, they actually show it too. They just go, like, you know what? Why y'all still talking about the past? The Lord requires which is of the past, man. You see? Uh, you know, I ain't paid a pee on no mind, but a brother did a video on that where this cool nigga was all riled up and mad. He was Hebrew in the light. Y'all ruin it for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's a ruin for you regardless, man. Yeah. They, the, the day's gonna come where they're gonna kill all you niggas. Right, right. If you right. ain't of the elect. So, it, it, we ain't ruining your chances in America. You never had one, never man. Never had one. <laughs> right, These right. great plagues, you call them peace, and you think that we fucking something up for you. No, it never was gonna go right for you in this place, man. Like the scriptures say in Isaiah, what was it, 33, that you that you leaning on this rod, uh, this staff, which is Egypt, and it's gonna pierce you through your head, man. So where you at, bro? So we can close up. Where you at, bro? Okay, go ahead. Yep. This is Jeremiah. Uh, chapter 50 verse 29 yep. Call together the archers against Babylon All ye that bend the bow uh -huh. Camp against it Camp against it round about yep. Let none thereof escape Recompense her according to her work uh -huh. According to all that she hath done All she hath done Not just a little bit All Do unto her for she hath been proud against the Lord Yahweh, yep. against the Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. Yep. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. Oh, so the young men going to fall in the streets, man. See, this was his coming to this place, man. You're an Israelite, brother. You know that. Oh, you know that. Oh, the Israelites. Do you see yourself on this stand right here? Which your, fa your father goes back to? Like, would you be a so called Negro or so called Indian? The message we're telling our brothers and sisters out here is look, this place is coming to an end whether you can see it or not. And the only thing that can save you from having the God of the Bible, the true God of the Israelites, uh, protecting you, man. And part of that is knowing him in truth. And of course, the scriptures, these are the children of Israel. This is your heritage. So you gotta come back to your heritage, bro. Right. Some more research on it. The Hebrew Israelites. Black. Just type in black out of Israelites. Black out of Israelites. Who are the Hebrew Israelites? Just look it up. But we yep. But well, we down here every week. I said, go ahead, brother. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. Right, so the young men going to fall in these streets, man. All you young knuckleheads, man, that don't want to turn into the Lord, y'all going to fall to the streets. 
ball in the streets, man. Whatever your occupation is, y'all gonna fall in the streets if the Lord ain't protecting you. All her men of war shall be cut off in that day. All her men of war, so all your soldiers, all your men, people that went to the military, y'all gonna die, man. Y'all not gonna see Uncle Billy come back, man. Or Uncle John come back. Y'all went to the military, y'all? The, the elites of America sent your children to the military to die, man. To get burnt up in World War III, man. Because that's what's going to take place. Y'all might as well start sending them letters now. Because they ain't coming home. They ain't coming. Yup. And all you Israelites who went over there to fight. All y'all Israelites that joined the army. Y'all sellouts. And if y'all don't repent, y'all going to die, man. Y'all going to eat missiles. You see? Because ultimately, y'all going to try to fight against our Lord, man. So y'all got to perish, man. The ones of you that don't repent and return to the Lord. But uh, yeah. And all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord Yahweh yeah. of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Uh, sorry. For thy day is come. Time that I will visit thee, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, mm -hmm. and none shall raise him up, and I will kindle a fire in his cities. Yep, I will kindle a fire in his cities.